hi hello my dear friends welcome back to the channel this is the fifth part of uh, mimo ofdm in this video i will be talking about uh, a singular value decomposition which is svd uh, this is very much uh, important to understand uh, the concepts uh, like pre-coding special multiplexing and multi-user mimo uh, i thought uh, it is better if i bring this concept at this particular point because in the earlier videos i have spoken about uh, the zero forcing equalization concept and even i had uh, spoken about uh, uh, physical interpretation of it so there we had seen the fundamental directions uh, uh, across which we need to transmit and uh, and the directions across which we need to receive so that uh, clarity uh, uh, will be more clear in case of svd so i thought it is better to introduce it here um, so before uh, getting into the svd i want to give the glimpse of uh, the zero forcing receiver which i had uh, spoken in my earlier videos so consider the channel model y bar is equal to hx r will be greater than or equal to t right so now uh, to get back my x x bar at which consists of x1 x2 xt uh, across uh, the antennas um, you know i should be multiplying uh, the received signal y bar with uh, the w matrix right that w matrix in case of zero forcing when r is equal to t and the h as h is invertible we had seen that w is h inverse so the moment we apply h inverse we were seeing that you know i i was getting identity matrix into x bar you know based on this i i could re, i could see that uh, the x1 x2 are all separated across the antennas and there was no interference from the other symbols so basically whatever the operation you do whatever the matrix uh, you, you use with respect to w we should be finally getting an identity or the diagonal that is the crux right based on this so let us get into the core concept of uh, svd so i will consider the same model y bar is equal to hx plus n r is greater than or equal to t let's say okay so singular value decomposition will decompose the ma channel matrix h into three matrices one is u another one is sigma v are mission okay so matrix u will look like this uh, each ui is a column vector okay column vector of dimension r cross one so like that we will have t vectors so this uh, sigma is uh, the diagonal matrix uh, which is t cross t and uh, this is a v mission matrix which is again t cross t okay so this vi is uh, again you know uh, t cross one column vector here we need to first understand the properties uh, and uh, and uh, when we decompose uh, uh, svd uh, we should be decomposing such a way that the column vector ui when multi when uh, you know multiplied in this fashion basically taking the norm then uh, i should be getting one if i is equal to j or it should be zero basically this is a property of orthonormal vectors right so if this property satisfies then your mission you will be identity so similarly uh, v armesian and v is also identity and that also satisfies the property of orthonormal vectors and in, in terms of singular values uh, uh, this is how this should be arranged and in the diagonal matrix uh, uh, you know the sigma 1 should be greater than sigma 2 and uh, it should be ordered in decreasing way all right the number of uh, non zero singular values will represent the rank of the matrix so with this uh, uh, understanding of the property uh, you know what i basically want to mention is the fundamental directions along which you should be transmitting and along which you should be uh, receiving let's say i consider uh, the uv which is transmitting in the uplink and the base station is receiving okay now i transmitted the same uh, symbol x bar across same antenna let's say it has got t antennas so now as per this and as per the properties what it says is i should be transmitting in the direction vi okay uh, so let's say uh, if i transmit in vi then in which direction i should receive so that i will get back my x so let's say i transmit uh, this x uh, using this uh, um, column vector vi this will serve as my uh, pre-coding vector so now i use this and i transmit across this uv then uh, then what happens so so uh, y bar is equal to hx bar right but now uh, 
this x bar i have used a vi bar into x so vi bar into x so but uh, h should be you know decomposed in this way right so if i apply this then um, what would i get so if i simplify this uh, basically uh, first let us simplify this part if i simplify this i would be getting something like this at i get the uh, point i will have x and at all other positions i will have zeros based on orthonormal property of the vector and then from there you know if i even uh, use these equations then i would get this okay i, I will get uh, uh, this one now now at the receiver side okay so now what we have done we have transmitted x bar along uh, the direction vi now at the receiver i should be seeing in i should be seeing the symbol along ui direction so for that i will multiply with ui or mission bar uh, to this okay basically here uh, uh, ui bar into y bar i will do then based on this what i will get if i if i substitute here and if i simplify using the properties of orthonormal i will get uh, sigma i into x so i got my x whatever i have transmitted so what does it say it says that you transmit uh, if you transmit x along vi then at the receiver you should be observing your x along ui then uh, you will actually get back your x otherwise you will not get back so this is the physical interpretation that uh, it is going to or uh, you know going to give to us so based on this um, let us see the further concepts uh, so so in case of h so what happens if for some of the uh, singular values are zero so like this let's say t is equal to 4 transmit antenna but uh, you know only uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2 are non zero in which case it defines you know rank is equal to 2 which means that there are only two fundamental directions along which you can transmit uh, uh, two different uh, symbols x1 and x2 so in other directions you cannot transmit because uh, um, that those directions you will not be in a position to recover your signal back okay so that is the inference or that is the physical interpretation from this if there are some singular values which are zero you will have less number of directions along which you can transmit the different symbols so now um, let us take the generic case where my x bar is x1 x2 xt uh, which is a t cross 1 uh, vector which means that i am going to transmit uh, the different symbols across different trans transmit antennas okay so if i want to transmit like this what will be my fundamental directions so fundamental direction will be you know v you have to multiply by matrix v okay if i'm multiplying by matrix v what does it mean it means that uh, you know the first column of v is where you know you gonna transmit x1 In the second column you gonna transmit x2 so from here we cannot we can uh, you know simplify the equation and write it in this way right so even this is shown at this point okay so this will uh, give this one which means this is v into x bar so this will serve as a pre-coding matrix uh, at the transmitter side basically at the uv side okay so how the uv will know oh, what uh, um, uh, pre-coding matrix to use or pre-coding vector to use and that i will come in a moment uh, so let's say uh, the uv uses uh, uh, like this okay uh, uv uses the pre-coding uh, uh, matrix as v and it has it is going to transmit in which case you know considering this channel model y bar is equal to hx bar now my x bar is v into x bar right so if i use this and if i use this uh, svd of h then um, i will get these two equations and um, here vr mission v is equal to identity so from here i will get uh, this particular equation so from here in which directions i should be seeing to get back my x bar so uh, that is 
I should be multiplying with the W matrix to the received signal. Here W matrix uh, is actually U or mission. So if I uh, see in those directions, U or mission U is equal to identity, and I will get back my sigma x bar. Okay. So the sigma x bar, sigma is a diagonal. Uh, I was mentioning in the beginning. So basically, we should achieve this target where you know we should have a diagonal matrix and x bar. That is when all your symbols x1 and x2 up to xt are all uh, um, separated out across the antennas and there is no interfere from the other symbols right so this is clearly shown uh, even in this uh, uh, simplified equations and finally we have got uh, um, you know t parallel channels along which uh, the uh, t different symbols uh, are present and we can separate it out or we can uh, uh, you know extract them without any problem um, this is the concept of spatial multiplexing right so both spatial multiplexing and the precoding concept are known but uh, one more concept which is related to multi-user MIMO I will come to that when I talk about uh, multi-user MIMO in the upcoming videos but now uh, I want to cover one more concept that is related to uh, that is related to the procedure before that how would be my physical uh, representation so there will be v1 v2 v3 v4 like that so along which you will transmit x1 x2 x3 x4 like that so then you will have uh, you know then you will have a different um, directions u1 u2 u3 u4 like that so uh, based on these directions if you see uh, then you will get back uh, your required x1 right so this is how the uh, physical interpretation of uh, this svd and the fundamental uh, uh, you know directions with respect to transmit and receive okay so i want to talk about the procedure so in this procedure uh, what i want to mention is how does uv know the precoding matrix so initially the base station um, will put a request to the uv saying that you transmit the reference signal or srs in, in 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 the in our current system we call it as sounding reference signal so in general it can be called as a reference signal or training signal so then uv will transmit and then base station will receive the signal okay um once it received it does the channel estimation it gets back h and performs the svd so svd will give the matrix v and that will serve as a precoding matrix so that uh, uh, you know uh, precoding info will be given back to uv to use it for the further transmissions uh, with respect to data so this is how uh, it will become so at the receiver finally receiver will have this uh, information of u uh, it will directly use this u in order to get back x bar in fact if you see one advantage here that is uh, here we are not actually doing any any kind of matrix inversion we are using a simple uh, um, um, a matrix multiplication in order to get back my x bar right but uh, what is the assumption here the assumption is the channel is constant for a long duration and that's why you know the the channel uh, which is estimated on slot or on particular direction duration uh, and uh, that is going to be a constant even across uh, other slots or uh, even uh, for the further duration right so even once uh, uh, base station gets uh, the svd uh, it will also know uh, you know how many non-zero singular values are present so based on that it will also define the rank so the rank indication uh, will also be uh, given to the uv saying that hey from your end uh, only the two layers are possible or one layer is possible can you transmit only along that fundamental direction okay so i hope even this procedure is also uh, clear i want to appreciate uh, the efforts please uh, appreciate it you know by subscribing to the channel um, thank you very much have a great day bye bye